Hi guys, welcome back to ASUS ROG Australia. My name, of course, Dan K. Today we're having a look at the GTX 650 Ti Boost, and this card is a non-reference model. DC2 model comes factory overclocked to 1,085 megahertz. So that's around 4% faster than reference, and uh, ASUS specifically designs the card. So it's got super LA chokes and capacitors. Those are noise-free, last around two and a half times longer, and perform better, staying cooler and more efficient during operation. For the connectors, you've got DVI-I, DVI-D, HDMI display port. That's a host of connection options that you have. And the card features a single six pin power connector with a single SLI finger in case you wish to attach another card in the future. I used 3D Mark 11 for benchmarking and the card achieved a P score of 5,472 and then a score of 5,547 with some very mild GPU tweak overclocking. Had I had more time with the card, I believe another 100 3D Marks would certainly be an obtainable 24 seven overclock. In Battlefield 3 now, we're running 1080p Ultra at around 41 frames per second, which was my average on the outdoor gameplay test using Fraps Recorder. I feel the need to reiterate that medium will get you a solid 60 frames per second under almost any gameplay situation here, and that in mind, it keeps the card really, really in a nice price-performance combination. So it's been Dan K from ASUS ROG Australia. Hope you guys have some comments. Uh, leave them in the comment section below, and. Uh, I'll hopefully see you guys next time.